Caitlin. I can't believe this day is finally here. It feels like just yesterday I was getting down on one knee and asking you to marry me. Justin, when I look back on our time together, every high and low has led us here today and I would not trade it for the world. Five years ago, I was just a guy stumbling through life, not really sure of what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go. Then I met you and everything started to change. I started to think about my future and time and time again, it revolved around you. I fully believe with all of my heart that you are the woman I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. You are everything I hoped I would find in a husband. Caring, patient, and unconditionally loyal. I am so thankful for you. I can't wait to be your wife. Here between your mercy and my shame, and that's exactly why you came. Ooh, it's the beauty of your grace. Back in September of 2012, I never could have guessed how much my life would change when you picked me up off the side of the street on the way to our first volleyball tournament together. Less than a month later, we were on our first dinner date, and I remember saying roughly 30 words, and when I got back to my dorm room, I thought to myself, this is a woman I could spend the rest of my life with. We could write an endless story Through the struggle and the glory By your side I'm completely in love with you. I promise to give you all the attention in the world and to love you with all of my heart. We could sail the skies together till I think of all the people that you have met throughout your life and all the places that you have been. And somehow, in some way, um, you've ended up here today with me. I used to think that we met by random chance, but I know now, without a doubt, that it was the universe, fate, God, who put you in front of me because we're meant to spend our lives together. It must have been in 2012. Um, we were sitting with Caitlin on a break, and she pointed over at this guy and said, That's Justin. <laughs> I, I kind of like him. <laughs> and, and I looked over at him, and I see this tall, good looking guy with his flip hairdo. <laughs> and I thought, Yeah, he's got a lot going on. <laughs> I'll never forget the day when Caitlin told me about this tall, cute, hipster boy on the subway. He were hipster. That was new for her. You would have told me back then that these two wouldn't have been getting married. I would have said, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> these two were destined for each other. <laughs> <laughs>